Hello, Argicom users. This video is a hands-on tutorial to show you how to use our Argicom USB 3.0 camera shield. We will walk you through all the necessary steps, including the hardware assembly and software operation. And we will be covering the following five segments in this tutorial. Let's get started. To use the MT9V022 camera module, you will need an extra parallel camera adapter board to work with USB 3.0 camera shield, which adds support for our 8-bit pin header style camera breakout board. Firstly, put the four standoffs on the Argicom USB 3.0 camera shield, and then mount the parallel camera adapter board to it. After that, screw another four standoffs to the previous ones to secure and hold the adapter board in between. Then you can put the camera board on and make sure you are aligning the pins to the sockets. Now it starts to look complete and you just need to fasten the setup with four nuts on the bottom of the USB 3.0 camera shield. And then four screws on the top of the camera module. Now we've finished the assembly. Make sure yours looks like this one before continuing to the subsequent steps. After the assembly, connect the USB 3.0 cable to the shield and you can get ready to shoot objects. For the software part, you can get all the SDK library, example code, and Windows GUI from our Argicom GitHub page. In this video, we will be demonstrating the Windows GUI program. Enter the folder and find the executable USB test.exe file and double-click to open it. Hit scan first for the program to discover your device and then click on the file tab to open the correct configuration file corresponding to the camera module. Click load to load the config file, click open to open the camera module, and then click play to see the video feed. You can see the frame rates on the lower left of the window. This stereo camera adapter board is like the parallel adapter, but with an extra camera slot. You will first put the screws in to fasten the camera shield, and then fasten the camera module with nuts. This is how the setup looks like after the assembly. Likewise, you will be opening the same software, but a different configuration file for the MT9V022 stereo camera. And they are working exactly at the same time. Unlike the MT9V022 which requires a parallel adapter, you need a MIPI camera adapter for the MIPI camera modules like IMX219. The installation process is easy, just put the standoffs on the camera shield, then mount the MIPI adapter board and fasten it with screws. Then like the previous steps, the nuts are required on the bottom of the USB camera shield. This is how the MIPI camera setup for the USB 3.0 camera shield looks like. Then you can connect the camera module to the MIPI adapter board. Notice that this adapter board adopts 22 pin connectors, so you need a 15 pin to 22 pin adapter cable to use a camera module with a 15 pin connector. Pull the plastic edges gently away from the camera board, push in the camera ribbon, and make sure the connectors are facing down to the board. Then push the plastic connector back in while holding the flex cable until the connector is back in place. Now that the camera module is connected, you can add a USB cable and connect the shield to your computer. Software side, it's pretty much the same as the previous. But with the IMX219 configuration file. Then click load open and play. You will probably see a greenish frame which is the original raw image directly from the sensor, but you can check the white balance box to do software white balance.
You can also connect multiple Argicom shields to create a multi-camera system. If you want to see the feed from both cameras, you will be open to USB test.exe software instances and open for each camera. This time you hit scan, there will be two devices on the drop-down list. Make sure you are selecting a different one for each instance. The following steps will be the same as using a single camera shield. Our SDK for the USB 3.0 camera shield is not limited to the Windows platform. And you can also use it on Linux-based systems, like the Raspbian for the Raspberry Pi. The hardware installation and setup are the same as that on the Windows, but there would be some requisites like Argicom Config Parser, LibUSB, Python and OpenCV. Then you can use the Arducam Pi Demo.py program to see the camera feed. You can find more details about using it on Raspberry Pi and other Linux-based systems on Argicom GitHub page or the documentation page on our website. This video provides you a basic idea of how the camera shield works, and you can see that the previous setup on the Windows platform also works on the Raspbian. That's all for this video. The Argicom USB 3.0 Camera Shield makes it an easy, fast, and perfect solution for camera evaluation and prototyping on various image sensors and software and hardware platforms, like Windows, Linux, PC, and ARM. There are more features, like direct sensor register access on the fly, and raw RGB data recording, IR cut control, camera issue diagnosis, which are not illustrated in this video. If you got any questions, feel free to post a comment below or post it on the Argicom forum. Thank you for watching.